Good morning, guys. I am so glad that you're listening. And this is Coffee with Christ. Why do we name it Coffee with Christ? I hope you're having some coffee with me. But most of all, I'm going to take a drink. Woo! That is hot. I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, like, this sits here a while and gets lukewarm. But that's like holy fire in my mouth. Oh, my goodness. So, um, seriously... Coffee with Christ, I created this not because I want to sit and for five minutes ramble at you or whatever. It's to spur you on. It's to spur me on. I want you to whatever your morning drink is, just have some Jesus with it. You know, have some Jesus because that's what's really going to sustain us. You know, we need that. So I'm just so glad that you're listening. And we've been talking about friendships, godly friendships, and um, I hope that you can be encouraged in that. I hope that um, this is just stirring our mind, you know, to think about the relationships that are in our life and to think about how we are to others together. That's that's all this is. That's what this is for me, and I hope that, um, you know, that that's what it is for you, and if it is, I'd love for you to drop a comment and and we can talk about it. I'd love to know that. And so um, godly friendships are so important because they're taking up our time. Friendships are something we're devoted to. And so um, I think the Lord wants to see those areas fruitful in our life. And so there is a scripture in Romans that we're going to touch on today super quick. Be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Super simple, Romans 12, 15. But it is profound. You know, we don't always have to have every right answer. In fact, pretty much, I feel like I never have the right answers. And that was my phone beeping because I forgot to silence it. Um, But we don't have to have those. We just need to enter in and be happy. Not jealous when something good's happening to our friends. Be happy with them. We don't need to tell them all the pitfalls for their new job that they're getting. They're excited. Just enter in and be happy with them or weep with them. We don't have to have every answer. We don't have to give them 20 scriptures. All we really have to do is be present in their life and cry with them. You know, that's it. It takes so much pressure off of trying to fix people. It does. It just frees us up. And we need those people in our life as well. We need that. We need there's balance in everything. Yesterday I talked about accountability. And yes, we need friends to help hold us accountable. But we need to be people who are balanced and who have um, a sense of... We, we can hear the Holy Spirit to tell us when to help hold people accountable and when to just shut our mouth and weep with them. And I don't know about you, but I talk all the time. I mean, it's like 100% of the time my mouth is going. I have to consciously tell myself, shut my mouth and listen. I have put into practice that in my life. Because I can just talk and talk and talk and talk. And if it's an uncomfortable situation or I'm nervous, uh, you don't want to fly with me. Because literally my mouth runs from, because I'm a nervous flyer, from two hours prior to the entire time. Don't, I mean, just just pray for my husband when we fly together because, you know, he started putting earphones in with stuff just to tune me out because when I get nervous, I talk. I just talk. Talk, 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 talk. But this, I've renewed my mind that I don't have to talk. I can just be happy with somebody. I can weep with them. It is freeing. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I love people just to do that to me. They don't need to try to fix it. I go to Jesus. He fixes me. He fixes me. He, But I just need someone to weep with me. So that's the encouragement today. I hope you have a great day. I'm praying for you guys. And I will talk to you tomorrow.